Hey y'all, welcome to Alley Cat Customs. Where in this video, I'm upgrading my 454 and my old C10 with a full MSD ignition. So y'all stick around, it's gonna be fun. style distributor and as you can see I already got the cap removed and uh, got my plug wires and stuff laying down uh, the first step you really need to do is to rotate the engine to number one top dead center compression um, you have a lot of problem people that are uh, uh, set the spark plugs and stuff up and then uh, putting the time at 180 degrees out so what you need to do is if you never touch the engine and uh, you don't know um, how it's been set up um, rotate the engine, pull the number one spark plug out, and then as you rotate the engine over, put your thumb across the spark plug hole, and as the engine rolls over, as, it, as the piston is on its compression stroke, it'll push air out of the spark plug hole and you feel it on your thumb. And then as you watch the harmonic balance rotate up, and you'll see the uh, time of marks come up, and then you put it at uh, zero, and that'll be top dead center compression. And uh, that's where you want to set your time and mark at. Um, you can actually set, which is what gets a lot of people in trouble, you can set the timing up on the, uh, on the rotor button here. And you can put this anywhere you want to in the circle. And as long as you start your number one there and go in the circle, you'll be fine. But the next guy that messes with your truck is going to be completely lost as to where it's supposed to be at. So most people on Chevrolet trucks, on Chevrolet engines like this, is they'll rotate it to number one top dead center compression, and then they'll point the uh, tip of their the rudder button towards the number one cylinder, and mine is actually pointed to the stud on the carburetor, and that's where I set up originally. So instead of me doing the whole pulling the spark plug out, I already knew where this engine was supposed to be at. So I just pulled the cover off and rotated it over so I could film it to show you guys me spinning the motor over, and uh, everything's where it needs to be. I got my marking where the original um, distributor cap, the rotor button, points to. So I'm about to pull this distributor out and I'm gonna put this uh, MSD distributor in its place, line everything up, point the rotor button the same direction, and I'll go back and I put the cap on, put my uh, spark plug wires on, going in the uh, firing order on, on a big block Chevrolet um, for 1A436572, all around a circle, and then I'll move on to my next step which is installing the MSD box. I'm gonna put it over on the firewall. Um, I got the carburetor off because I'm also installing nitrous on my big block and I'm making a video for that. So if you wanna check it out, it'll be on my page. Uh, probably about the same time or a little before I actually do this, to, this part, um, this uh, ignition video. So uh, I'm gonna do that and I get this uh, carburetor stuff put on and I'll move on to start wiring it all up because my MSD ignition and the nitrous system, it all ties together. And I'll do a little bit on the wiring later on, but uh, about to dive in, snatch this trigger out, and keep on moving to the next step. So 
So I got my HEI distributor pulled out of the motor and I'm getting ready to install my MSD Pro Billet distributor. And as you can tell from looking at the top, the uh, HEI distributor uh, is much larger on the top side. And that's because it is a coil in cap design. And under this gold cap here is where the coil is mounted inside the sugar cap. So it makes it a uh, really compact unit. Um, having only one wire needed to operate the distributor. It makes it really nice for like engine swaps and stuff. Uh, something that you need a really simple uh, wire harness on. Um, it's really good for uh, mild builds, um, stock engines, cruisers and stuff like that. And um, it works perfect for what I'm doing with this truck uh, with my horsepower and RPM capabilities of this 454. Um, I have an MSD module inside of here which has a soft touch rev limiter on it. So uh, it's a really good distributor and it served me well for the past three years I've run with the 396 and with this uh, 454. But now that I'm running nitrous, I want to take advantage of the uh, added advantages that I get with the MSD ignition, like the uh, um, timing retard when I get on the nitrous. So I'm um, putting this on the shelf and getting ready to use it at a later date. And I'm going to stab that distributor in here and move on to the next step. So I almost got this truck ready to fire up. I uh, got all the wiring harness done. I just got to tidy it up, put it all in looms. I had my dad come out here earlier and uh, press all the buttons so I could check, make sure everything was functioning like it was supposed to. You can see my MSD Digital 6 Plus ignition box and my nitrous and stuff. So it's all there, it all works. And uh, tomorrow I'm gonna get on the, uh, I gotta go get fuel tomorrow and I want to test all the fuel lines and stuff and the truck will be ready to crank. Once I get it cranked up, I have to set the timing and stuff and uh, make sure everything's good to go. Uh, I can't take it on a test drive because I still got my drag slicks on. But uh, if everything checks out tomorrow, I uh, plan on going to the track Saturday night, so I hope to see y'all there. drag strip and stuff and uh, everything works great i'm really happy with all the upgrades i've done uh, all the way up till now um i was working really hard the last couple weeks trying to get everything ready to go but i did make it to the first uh foot break drag race of the uh, season so i was really happy about that but i was having to work too fast to uh, really do a whole lot of filming on wiring and let's be honest trying to wire uh, trying to do wiring is tedious and annoying enough let alone trying to film it while you're wiring um, but I got it all wired up and, and it all works. I'm gonna take you um, through what all I did to uh, uh, run my MSD Digital 6 Plus Ignition and uh, all the features on it. Um, one thing, another reason why I didn't really wanna uh, try to uh, film me wiring on it 
is uh, because the MSD uh, instruction book is a, it's got a huge um, instruction book that comes with it, and this box can be used on such a such a wide array of different applications, and they have really good detailed instructions um, to do it on every application. So it's really easy to, to uh, read the instructions on how to wire this up. So just follow the instructions for your application, and uh, and it, 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 you'll breeze right through it, and uh, and it, it'll work out pretty well. Um, but I want to take you through the different features on the box and uh, show, show you the reasons why I wanted to use it. So uh, I'm about to dive in and show you the features now. All right, so one of the main reasons why I really like this uh, Digital 6 Plus box is it's made for racing. It's got a lot of really cool features in a compact box. And how do you, how do you work all the features on it is it's got a, this row of dip switches that, to, to operate everything. And uh, starting off, you have your uh, uh, top end rev limiter. And that's just to keep you keep the engine safe, just in case you, you uh, lose traction or, or have have a failure point somewhere in the drivetrain. You won't send the engine into a million pieces when uh, when you scatter parts. Hopefully, you won't hurt the rest of the engine. So, you've got your top end rev limiter, and then you have a two step. And a two steps for getting on a trans brake or on a line lock allows you to uh, pick whatever RPM you want to uh, leave off the line on. And uh, so, easy it, setting these up is as easy as just uh, turning the dip switches, setting that setting the dials to whatever RPM you want them to, uh, to turn on and, and bam, they're both set. Um, the other feature and what I really like about this is it has a single stage timing retard and that is set up so you can pull timing when you're on nitrous. So I have uh, mine set up for a, my 100 shot of nitrous. Um, and what, what it is is when you wire it in with your nitrous system, when you turn the nitrous on and you're spraying, it'll pull however amount of timing you need um, to keep the engine safe when you're on the spray. So and so that's really nice. That way you don't have to uh, mess with your time and have the engine running running bad and, and acting acting up when you're trying to do your burnout and, and uh, driving around. You have the timing set so the engine runs best uh, naturally aspirated. And uh, when you get on the nitrous, it pulls the timing back itself and uh, you have the best timing for when you're on your spray. So it just makes it, makes it for an overall better running engine. So I really like that on it and also on the, another switch on the side uh, the last dip switch is uh, to tell whatever uh, how many cylinders the engine is and it also has uh, some of the numbers will um, turn on a uh, um, um, 20 degree timing uh, retard for starting so it pulls 20 degrees of timing so it's easier to crank the engine over when you're trying to crank it uh, higher compression engines and stuff sometimes uh, need need that setup especially with the locked out timing and uh, also uh, a couple of the numbers on there um, if you turn it to it, it actually like a, a theft deterrent. It uh, kills the ignition box, so that if you turn it to that, the truck won't crank. Uh, you'll find out what numbers those are when you when you buy the kit. It's in the instructions. Um, but it also has on the top here. It has a indicator light, so to know that the, the box is getting power. So overall, the box is a really neat, uh, nice unit. And being MSD parts on all through my ignition, it all works really well. It like, all works well and plays well together. So makes me happy. Uh, so I'm really happy with the whole setup right here and I'm um, really excited to get back. Uh, I raced it uh, one time already um, at a foot brake race. I wasn't able to use a nitrous because being a foot brake race, I was trying to, I was trying to make it. Now I, I made, uh, made it, I think to the fourth round before I got put out. So it was fun, but uh, next, next time I go to the track, it will be on the nitrous. So uh, I'm really happy about that and I can't wait to see it. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video, and if you do, keep on coming back for more. Make sure you like and subscribe at the bottom of the page, and I'll see you next time right here at Alley Cat Customs.